welcome back to Group Chat and Chill. This is episode two. You can see us now because we, we're recording now. So we see our pretty faces, at least hers. Anyway, uh, my name is Roosevelt, also known as Rosie, and... I'm Jennifer, also known as Jen. We're going to be starting off with Star Wars. Now, mm-hmm. with that being said, because Star Wars is huge. Like, I'm talking like the huge-ass <laughs> universe. Where are we starting at? I wanted to start with the new Star Wars movie. The Rise of Skywalker, right? Yeah, um, but I want to. I want a little... Exclaimer. Disclaimer? Disclaimer. Okay. Disclaimer. What, what I should know it? this. I'm a teacher. <laughs> um, disclaimer that I am operating from the perspective of someone who just got into Star Wars when Rogue One came out. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm working backwards through, I'm kind of watching all the new movies and then we're going to go back and watch all the old movies and I'm yeah, you, not like, you do know how the timeline goes, at least, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I do know that. <laughs> I didn't, if I'd ever confuse, Nick knows. Okay. Um, but I do want to stress that I am completely talking about the new Star Wars movie from someone who wikied the plot of Return of the Jedi. <laughs> so you haven't even seen Return of the Jedi? Um, no, but I saw Force Awakens. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, for all my Star Wars fans out there, please forgive her. She is a <laughs> decent person. <laughs> no, um, so okay, Star Wars. Uh, uh, well, first of all, what made you get into it? Um, Rogue One was just so good. Like, oh, I, Rogue One was and, dope. And that movie made me so angry, <laughs> so angry. <laughs> oh my god! Everybody dies. They could have left. They yeah, could have but moved I mean, away. the thing about it, if they had lived, you just say, like, okay, where the hell were they during all this time? You know. If they weren't in any of the... the Off uh, living originals. on the planet, raising their babies. Oh, Duh. No, they'd be fighting. <laughs> Come on, you know. Anyway. But I got to say, I got to say this right off the bat, because my favorite part... Again, spoilers, if you, if you weren't listening to the previous graphic. But, spoilers, my favorite part of the movie was the ending when uh, Darth Vader appeared at the end of the hallway. Oh, my God. We go oh back and watch that God. scene, like, once a month. It's such a... <laughs> it's okay, because, so like, for me, because I, 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 they always portrayed, like, in the, in the original movies, mm-hmm. uh, Darth Vader as just a beast. Mm-hmm. But, like, obviously, you know, that they, were, they weren't they were as, as advanced with, you know, like, you know, just fighting and you know, right. all that stuff. Right. So, or for at least for, like, for movies. But now, when they make it modernized and they just... He's just an absolute beast in that hallway, and I loved it. Yeah, that, it that was... put me on Team Vader, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, but to the new movie, I, it felt rushed. Keep in mind, this is someone coming from Return of the Jedi, and since I did not see Return of the Jedi, mm-hmm. again, spoilers, I can't stress this enough, when... Kylo Ren and Rey kissed at the end. That pissed me off so I, hard. I didn't see any of the sexual tension. And so when I was yep. talking with my friend later, um, my friend Rihanna, because we discussed things in the morning on my way to work, um, she's like, well, you have to see Return of the Jedi. There was this whole scene where he was shirtless. And oh, I'm like, so that's where the meme comes from, <laughs> and uh, where he was shirtless. And she's like, can you put on a shirt? And there was a bunch of sexual tension. If I had You're not seen talking that, about Return of the Jedi. You're talking about... What's the movie in between oh, no. Force Awakens? God damn See, it. See, this no, is how no, bad... I'm fucking up. <laughs> uh, okay, it's the Force uh, the, the, uh, okay, Force Awakens. Hey, Steven, what's the name of the movie? Wait, please. Do you, the second one. I'm fucking up so hard. <laughs> the Jedi Cue is, awkward is, silence while we really Google this. Um, the, the Last Jedi. Jedi. The, the Last, last Jedi. Jedi. Okay. See, because we're turning the Jedi, Jedi in it. That, that, that's one of the, the original ones. Just and I was edit like, some of this. Leave some of this <laughs> fail in. I, oh, at Wolfgang, if you're watching, I'm so, he's, he's going to slap me when he sees me. Oh, yeah, he's. I can, already <laughs> see, I can already see Nick's face. He's going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, in part two, I just forgot it again. <laughs> the, the, the Last Jedi. Jedi. <laughs> yeah, okay, The Last Jedi. There is the, the scene you were talking about when he was shirtless. Yeah. Where, <laughs> and there's a bunch of sexual tension. She's like, you have to watch you have to watch that to know. And I'm like, well, for someone who's coming into this movie, you don't know. And then don't even get me started on Finn's sexual tension. And that's... Okay, can we just go into that? So if we... Um, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, we were talking about the sexual tension in the oh, last yeah. Jedi. We're talking about Finn. the sexual tension. If you watch, if you watch this new one, you have no idea that she has a thing with Kylo at all. 
Uh, for me, I always got like a a, a sibling that a siblings that didn't like each other. That, right. that, that That's the feeling right. that I got between them. I, and then when, when when they give us that kiss, I was I was pissed. Oh, OK. Yeah, also, it was like it felt almost like incest or something, even though yeah, we find out it that bad. it's OK because she's Palpatine's granddaughter. Yep. But still, it felt like incest because I didn't feel the sexual tension. I was like, ugh. yeah. For, OK. There was an interview with J.J. Uh, Abrams. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, in the, there's a part in the movie where Finn is sinking into the, the sand. Mm-hmm. And he's just like, Ray, I never told you. I never told you. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So in the movie, they make it sound like he's going to confess his love. In mm-hmm. my opinion, come on now. If you saw that movie, he, it, that was perfectly set up like he was going to confess his love. Mm-hmm. So then when they meet up again, they're just like, oh, uh, no, 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 don't worry about it. Because then Pose is like, mm-hmm. he's, like, he's trying to listen in. And he wasn't. So. Mm-hmm. And then in the interview, somebody asked him, what was Finn really trying to say? Right. And, mm-hmm. and I was like, come on, you know he was going to confess his love right there. But the official response is Finn was going to tell uh, Ray that he was force sensitive. I, right. And I saw this on like an article on Facebook or something. Mm-hmm. Why is it such a big deal that he's force sensitive? Who cares? Everybody is force sensitive. <laughs> no. Yes. Get, a lot of people out. are. Get out. A lot of people are, though. <laughs> A lot of people For, are in the story. It was like, was Poe's it not force sensitive. It wasn't. That, weren't they setting it up that he was or something? No, no. not that at all. I, I <laughs> no, I didn't get at that at all. Okay, he he, he kind of gave me a mixture between like Luke and Han Solo in the originals. Okay, so that, I wanna, that's what I got. I want to apologize to all my Star Wars. I was gonna make a joke and say Trekkies, but I oh my I won't. god, uh, <laughs> Steven's like turning How around and shaking his chair. Um. I want to, I, I don't know what I was going with that, I lost it. <laughs> but um, again, I want to apologize, there we go. Again, I want to apologize to all my Trekkie fans that, <laughs> um, my Star Wars fans, that I don't, I'm not like super into Star Wars. Ask me Harry Potter questions, boy, <laughs> I'm there, <laughs> okay? Oh but Star Wars, um, I've just recently started getting into it. So I'm not hopping necessarily on the bandwagon. Like, I wouldn't go to Disneyland just for Star Wars Land. Mm-hmm. But I am getting into it. And then The Mandalorian just kind of sealed that. Oh, because, God, I am so hyped for that. Yes. And so, but I this new movie, I was just, I felt it felt rushed. It felt like Finn was trying mm-hmm. to say he loved her. And then they threw this kiss in. And I'm like... I, I feel like they could have kind of split this almost into two more movies yeah, with how well, much they put in there. J.J. wanted to. J.J. wanted two movies. Okay. And like, like this is what makes me bad is, mm-hmm. um, I, I don't know if this is true, but this is just what I heard. They, J.J. Uh, was trying to get his name off of the movie as a director because uh, the Disney um, made him follow all these rules that he didn't have any creative like choice, any really... Big choices, you know. But what I mean? didn't we know this was gonna happen when the Lisney Giant? <laughs> oh my god, Lisney <laughs> Giant. Well, yeah, because we can't say. Oh. When the Lisney Giant, <laughs> yeah, when the okay. Disney di- Giant, <laughs> <laughs> when the rest of the alphabet Disney, yes, um, decided that they were gonna take over Star Wars, didn't we realize that this was gonna happen though? Yeah, but I mean, uh, give the director some. Some creative choice. Otherwise, you're literally hiring somebody just to fill the seat. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I don't. And I don't get. <laughs> I don't get why they would give him rules because Lisney has a history of being extremely tone deaf <laughs> to a lot of things. So. Well, uh, from what I've seen, uh, I I don't know. Somebody did like a side a side by side comparison of like their old animation movies. I think it was like Snow White and like. Um, some kind of Robin Hood movie. I forgot mm-hmm. what it was. But they, they literally recycled like the, the dance movement. All mm-hmm. they did was they literally kind of changed the clothes and changed the characters. Um, every shot, you know, same angle, same dance moves, and everything. Um, they just recycled. Um, and yeah, they do that as well because it, it made money. Why not make money again? Why not I double guess. dip into that money pot? But then also, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like all the racism. And, stuff. and we kind of got off track a little bit here, but we talked about like all the racism and stuff <laughs> like this. I mean, I taught World War II Lit this year. Mm. And one of the cartoons when I was reviewing propaganda was Donald Duck in Nazi land. (laughs) And it was very much what it sounds like. Uh And it was Donald Duck as a Nazi. And it's a great cartoon. I'll have to show you later. Bastard. Is that why he never heals you in Kingdom Hearts? (laughs) (laughs) Um, But, I mean, we kind of figured. So, I mean, that explains why it got rushed. That explains why I hate, I hate, I hate 
po- directors post movie when they're like or post show and they're like oh you didn't get this really obscure detail that I was trying to give you this <laughs> is what it meant why can't I get that in the actual movie <laughs> well I mean because they got bosses to answer to it's yeah. I forgot I forgot the the uh, okay as far as directors go mm-hmm. um I like the guy I forgot his name but he directed end of watch mm-hmm. and uh he he did it with a bunch of small studios because because uh, he had you know a bunch of, mm-hmm. that gave him all the power. He mm-hmm. literally woke up in the morning, right? Or he wrote a scene, like mm-hmm. uh, uh, for one small scene. Went to a gas uh, a gas station. Mm-hmm. I want to shoot there. Did the paperwork, shot mm-hmm. it all in the same day. Wrote, shot, and you're done. You can't do that with a big name like Disney. You gotta pass it through like twenty people, and True. you know, and it has to get approved. Oh, it's more than that. Oh, Everybody yeah, has I, a boss I, they have I, to answer I'm to. I'm sure, but but when when we don't when you don't give your uh, director power, mm-hmm. you you you're shitting on the movie. You're literally just oh, this is a cash grab now, as opposed to let's let's, mm-hmm. let's finish this off. You know, the Skywalker name yeah. properly, and then yeah, and then, that's the know. that's the other thing. Like she just, I feel like. She just picked, like, she was a teenager getting arrested by the cops. What's your name, Miss Skywalker? <laughs> like, that's, that's that's exactly what happened at the end there. I, I don't like the fact that she she took the name. Uh, I mean, I don't know. If you were going to end the Skywalker saga, why pass on the name? Like, why? It so they're going to they're gonna be in more movies, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I think, yeah. Well, they're, definitely they're not Kylo, because, spoiler, yeah. he dies. Oh, my God. <laughs> He died because we thought Palpatine was dead. Yeah. Um. So, if they're gonna end the se- no, they're gonna they're not ending the series, right? Because no. that's what I was confused. I thought they were ending the series, ending the trilogy, mm-hmm. and that was it. And then they're gonna pass on the name. I'm like, well, maybe they're end- Maybe it's the end of the Skywalker because all the Skywalker, all the real Skywalkers actually died. Oh yeah, they're all dead. The bloodline's done. The bloodline's done. Mm-hmm. So the only way that Skywalker is gonna move on is if Ray has mm-hmm. children with Finn. <laughs> It's not going to happen because, oh, I'm force sensitive. I'm going to tell you before I die. Anyway. Did you hear about the joke he made? What joke? About, like, sliding into her. He made, like, the actor made, like, some joke about, like, sliding into her DMs or something. Some stupid joke. And he got, like, a ton of, like, flack for it. And it was hilarious. Oh, my God. Um, we'll, we'll open with that next time. And I'll just read his joke because I thought it was, I thought it was, like, really? And then people got mad at it. And I was like, really? So somebody made a GIF. It was an animated GIF with Finn. He has Poe. And one arm doing like he's doing a curl. Yeah. He's curl. He kisses oh, Poe, yeah, and then that. he picks up, picks up Ray, and kisses her. <laughs> and I was just like, that. you know what? I dig yes. that. I like it. Yes. <laughs> I I really enjoy their friendship. <sighs> yes. I really I, enjoy like the che- what, what were they playing chess with Chewy? With Chewy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it, it was funny. I was watching the, the more behind the scenes stuff, and the people were just like, oh, like were they in a gay relationship? <laughs> and I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I like that. It, it, it was funny to be a part. Cause, it like, was great. It's, it's kind of like having that best friend who's like your, your best friends and you're the same sex. It's just like, are you guys gay? And you're not gay, but you're going to say you're gay because it's funny. And your friend's going to go along with you. Even if you know they I mean? were gay, I would, I would be here for it because they have such great chemistry yes, that it would, well it would be amazing. <laughs> so I'd, I'd be here for it. But I don't know. I just, I'm kind of salty that Kylo died too. I don't. I, I mean, I get why I, I, if they're I expected ending. it. I was just like, "Yo, this is gonna be it." And he. Has I feel to die. like it was such a stupid death, though. Adela was pissed. She was just like, like, "She she wanted them to be together." I was like, "No, no, that's stupid. That's gay." I I didn't want the kiss. I didn't want a relationship this between is, them. It this was is just, what I wanted. I wanted Kylo to be the good guy, good guy Skywalker, right? And I wanted Ray to be Sith Ray because that was badass. I wanted more. What they gave us was not enough. Oh, she looks it, so good. If she, she goes she to the had dark side in the next movie, I'm here teeth. for it. Yeah. And then that, that's all you saw. And I yeah. was, yeah. My, my, my godson, Hunter, he was like, she looks so hot. He's 11. <laughs> and it was great. <laughs> my God. Um, but that brings us back to Adam Driver. And I want to kind of talk about him. They made him look really young in the movie. Did they? Well, I don't know if they did anything like digitally, mm-hmm. but you know, later we're going to talk about marriage story later because mm-hmm. in that movie he looked they they made him look old. I don't know if it was his clothes or if they did something to him, but in Star Wars he looks younger. See and see, I and I didn't get that because the scar that he has mm-hmm. it ages him for me. In Star Wars? Yeah, it it aged him for me. Mm. So oh. I don't know. Um. Whenever I think of a Kylo, I just him 
Oh, from the first movie when he's throwing a, t- a temper tantrum, destroying all the freaking monitors. <laughs> when the, <laughs> when the um, what are they called? The stormtroopers walk. Up and <laughs> yeah, like, and they turn around like, nope, I ain't dealing with it. <laughs> but oh, yeah. I, I don't know this 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 movie. Oh my god, I was legit mad when I when I thought they they killed Chewie though. Yeah, I was legit mad. I thought that was a punk way for I, him to die. If he was going to die. I almost jumped out of my seat when when she did the force lightning. I was like, "It was so." Let's go. The whole row. So that happened, and yeah. I of course went, and then <laughs> I looked to the side, and here's like Dario and Nick, and they were <laughs> like, they were like complete shock. Ah, uh, what yeah. the hell? And it was it was funny. Nice. But I just. I'm like, really? That's such a punk way for him to go out. Like, he needs to have an epic Han Solo is death. In in Legends continuity, which is Legends continuity, mm-hmm. basically is before, like the storyline before Disney bought it. Mm-hmm. So that that's whenever I say Legends, that, that's where it's from. That I think somebody threw a moon at him in order to kill him. Like they killed him pretty epically. <laughs> I forgot how, but yeah, they literally threw a moon at Chewie, and that's what killed him. <laughs> so, see, that's yeah. a, that's an epic death. I that would, is an epic death. I would death. accept that. I would accept that for him. <laughs> I feel like the deaths were pretty <sighs> pretty punk in this movie because I did not enjoy um, Carrie Fisher's death. I Okay. Like, like in real life or <laughs> like, are we talking about? Both. Both. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did not enjoy her death in the movie. In the well, movie. for that one, I, I, I cut him a lot of slack because – they were using footage, footage from what they already filmed, and they and were they, like they rolled around it, and then they they, you know, three D the rest that they could. Yeah. Because I mean, you're working with an actor that's already dead. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's hard. Because uh, um, you remember when they, when they, they did that with uh, Fast and the Furious? I forgot what movie it was, but when they they digitally uh, changed yeah, didn't his they brother's do it with face? his brother? Yeah. Yeah. His brother. And you can tell you can tell when it when it when it's that because he looked weird, but yeah. I mean. When you're working with dead actors that you know that are loved, I you, I, I always got it. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, this is what happens if yeah. they're still alive in the movie. Like, I'll give you some slack because you know they're and, dead. And I didn't honestly, I didn't expect her to be in this movie mm. as much. So I wanted more of a fight scene between Luke and her. And uh, to my knowledge, I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but she's the one that had the yellow slash kind of like gold lightsaber. In Legends continuity, she had gold, if I'm wrong. But they gave it to Rey at the end of the movie. Because well, like, remember when she like, oh, this was my, light, my, my, my lightsaber. Well, and she also abusing. buried. I thought she buried. Yeah, she buried Lars. it, but I think it was blue. It was blue or green, one of the yeah. two. And I was like, And then Rey's no. is yellow now, right? <coughs> yep. Rey's is yellow. Her, her <coughs> lightsaber was badass. And that's the other thing, too. And Joel had this, had this observation. He's like... Where's the backstory on that? I'd like mm-hmm. to know where she got that. Like, did she go get it made? Did she make it herself? Did yeah, the way she made it? Yeah. Someone gift it to her? Where mm. the where the hell did that lightsaber come from? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because she found who's whose lightsaber did she find? Was it Leia's? Oh uh, well, she found well. She found she Leia's had, at the island, right? What island? Remember when she was there, and then um, Skywalker's ghost popped up. Uh, oh yes, yes. That was Leia's, right? Yes, yeah. It was Leia's, yeah. and she had Luke's already. Yeah, because uh, they, they broke Luke's at, uh, in uh, the Last Jedi. Right, but yeah, they but didn't. They, 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 they used the same kyber crystal. Yeah, but they didn't really explain where Rey got hers. Nope. At all, nope. <laughs> like at all, like it just appeared. Well, I, I think, uh, and as far as the the story between how the the lightsabers are made, I think the only any anything in Star Wars that actually touched on it that's canon would be in Clone Wars because mm-hmm. they, they do a. Uh, an entire episode of like you know Jedi younglings going to make uh, their their lightsabers, which is pretty mm-hmm. dope. Oh. Well, yeah, but I still would have liked to see it in the movie, even oh, if yeah. it was like a ten minute scene. It didn't I mean it didn't have to be super complex. So I'm gonna gift it to her. Well, Someone it, it, you have to go talk to what you call it, Lizmy, for not putting that in there because I think JJ would have liked to put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> JJ, advice <laughs> if you direct again, man will. up. <laughs> you can't man up against them. You can. You can. They go, oh my god. I don't know. You That's, can. They're a beast. They're they <laughs> they're gonna own every studio soon. Yeah. Every, oh, every studio. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So I think this is good because I want to go back to Adam Driver. I definitely want to talk yes, about Adam yes, Driver. Yes, yes. Um. And I think we'll be hitting our halfway mark. And we have to stop for the cameras. 
Um, yes, yes. So yes. let's start with Adam. Finish this up with Adam Driver, and then we'll pause before we get into a marriage story. Marriage story, yes. So I've been seeing this article everywhere about Adam Driver, and the article that I actually sent to you was, um, "Does JJ Abrams know that Adam Driver is hot?" An investigation. <laughs> it, it was. It was basically. It was like a a, a fan letter to Adam Driver because she was like. Extremely like detailed about this mm-hmm. man's thighs and the size of them. <laughs> like, I don't know. It was just like, JJ, do you know he's hot? I need more of Kylo. And I'm just like, I don't think he's hot <laughs> at all. If I you mean, were, okay, you were a girl. I'm going to close your eyes. Close your eyes. You're a girl. You like tall men. Adam Driver. This is probably Adele's fault, but I'd probably get, uh, I, I'd want um, Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth more than Driver. Okay, but we're talking about Adam Driver. Like, if you I know, have, but I'm just like, he's not, uh, in my opinion, he's you, not. If you can't have a carne asada burrito <laughs> from Bella Bertos, will you settle for a frozen bean burrito? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Adam Driver's a frozen bean burrito? Yes. <laughs> he's not that bad looking. Come on, I wouldn't call him a frozen <laughs> bean burrito. <laughs> okay, I... I'm not trying to shame him. Like, I'm not trying to body shame him, but it, that nose, man. Is fit? What are you talking about body shaming? <laughs> well, his nose. What, what do I call it? A butterface? Like, I don't. <laughs> there was a meme it's I his saw. Face, obviously. And I don't even know if it's nose. I think it's the little, like, you know how he has, like, little jowls right here when he talks? Mm-hmm. I think maybe it's that. I don't, something about his face upsets like? me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The first time I saw him in Awakening. Mm-hmm. Um, he looked better in Awakening than he did any I other place. I was like, place. yo, because because I, I I didn't research who was playing who and all mm-hmm. these characters before I saw it. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel bad for saying this, but when I when he was uh, interrogating Ray, mm-hmm. and then he 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 takes off his helmet, mm-hmm. the first thought in my head, I'm like, it'll put it back on. <laughs> he he's not a bad looking guy, See? but I was just like that that's, that wasn't the villain I was expecting, because I don't know his his mask and his voice. Would just like it, it hyped them up, but when I saw the face, I was just like, "That's I, not no." Put it okay. back. <laughs> I know, I know. I've been honest about we need to stay on topic. We need to stay on topic, <laughs> yes, but yes. I am gonna branch off a little bit mm. because it triggered me when you said that. So you know how Rosie just said that he, you know, you you put it back on. That's how I felt on the Mandalorian when he took off his helmet. I was like, "Ew, put no. it back on." Well, because I already knew what he looked like, and yeah, I feel like when he took it off, his face didn't match the voice. And he was like all squished, and I didn't like it. And I'm like, okay, hold on. Put it back I, need, on. I, I need some justification here because hold on, you knew what he sounded like from Game of Thrones. Yeah, you know what he looked like from yeah. Game of Thrones. In, in my personal opinion, he was dope as hell. I was okay. So down. in Game of Thrones, he he does a Spanish accent. That's mm-hmm. not his natural accent. No. So the voice, the synthesized voice that you, sorry, mm-hmm. the synthesized voice that you hear in the Mandalorian is his actual voice. It's just you know put through a processor and everything, um, right? Well. His voice is sexy. Like I'm gonna get real low. Like his natural and voice. Low and say that the voice in the Mandalorian is sexy. I love it. But I don't. He could it. read you, me you. a recipe, and I'd be here for it. He could read me my student loan balance, and I would be there. <laughs> Make you want to pay it. Make me want to pay those bills. Oh my god. <laughs> get um. those groceries. <laughs> But and then he took off his helmet, and I was like, "Oh!" <laughs> but I mean, it, 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 he was fucked up. He was sweaty. He was bleeding from his head. He Come on, he was fucked up. If Chris Hemsworth has taught me anything, he could have been missing an eye and still been hot. They give him the eye back. That's not fair. You remember what it was like with his socket, though, okay? Yeah, it was pretty gnarly. That, you that, can be that. hot and still be messed up. You don't have to be 100% all the time to so, be cute. So you're telling me if you had a choice between regular... Adam Driver, no, okay. no, nothing wrong with him. Okay, but you, you get Chris Hemsworth, but he's missing that socket, and he's and it's out in the open. He's not like it's fresh, freshly missing. You would still choose Chris Hemsworth. Oh, is it infected? It's fresh. Okay, but it's it's. I mean, it could be infected. I don't know, but it's fresh. Well, no, it just pulled out. Well, no, <laughs> because then we're gonna be at the hospital for his freshly. But what he feels like, no, he's like, I want you. We're not going anywhere, and they're 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 both like that. The hospital can wait. <laughs> so, you, but you, you would still pick Hemsworth. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I would pick Hemsworth with one eye. Adam Driver. So, wrong. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth, if you ever decide 
that you want to have a new stepmom for your kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> he, uh, he married that Mexican girl from Fast and the Furious. I forgot her name. Uh, remember when The Rock is like, uh, when The Rock first show, shows up? And I'd have to like research this. Yeah. Anyway, we're I'd off have topic. To research this. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. <laughs> no, I don't think he's sexy. Um, yeah. I don't think he's sexy. But he's not. He, he's not a bad looking guy. His voice is weird, too. Like, is it an accent? Like, I don't. Where is he from? Just the whole package is just unattractive to me. And we'll get into the, we'll get in, and I saw more of it in a marriage story. Because I saw him in like regular clothes and everything. I, uh, yeah. Like I said, he, he was big. And so, super tall. Let's kind of segue a little bit into marriage story and then we'll get into like yeah, we're, what we're, we're going to talk we're, about. We're um, so, Adam Driver, specifically in a marriage story, he made Scarlett Johansson look tiny. Tiny. Yeah, super tiny. Yeah, and Nick was like, there's no way he's that tall. So we Googled it, and he is 6'3". He is 6'3". And Nick is like 6'1", so Nick's like, two he's so tall. tall. And I'm like, he's only two inches taller than you, you giant. <laughs> and he's like, but he makes Scarlett Johansson so look so little. And I'm like, she's only an inch and a half taller than me. Like, that's how we look together. Because he's he, Nick's a whole foot taller than me. And I'm like, that's how we look. He's like, no, we don't. And I was like, babe, it's because she's skinny and I'm fat. And he was like, Oh my god, whatever. If I was, if I was more petite like her, though, I would mm. look more engulfing, right? Mm. I guess. Look at, let's look at who do we know that's super short and super Carrie Dario. Car- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're gonna say Carrie Dario. Yeah. Like Dario is not super super tall, but he makes Carrie look tiny, tiny. Tinier. Yeah. So that's how me and Nick would look if I was a little skinnier. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Look at you and Adela. Aren't you like double Adela's height? Mm, well, whenever like, I stand up and hug her, she comes up right to my chest. Yeah, see? Like, this is hurtful. Yeah. See? See? Oh. I don't know. I think that's just, I, I like yeah. short girls. So, I mean, yeah, see? And, and I she's mean, like. We're pretty. Well, you, you, all three of you guys like dating Hispanic women. I think like, it's we're everybody there. in our group. Name one tall girl in our group. Lee, Lee and Gabby are like, are like same height. <laughs> but. <laughs> Everyone else, and I that's, think, uh, that's short it. girls. Yeah. Jen's super short. I think Jen's shorter no, than me. No, what about uh, Chris? Uh, Adriana, is that her name? Adriana? Ariana. Uh, Ariana, I'm sorry, She's Chris, tall. forgive me. She's tall, but Chris is still taller than her. Uh, yeah, but I mean, there's not that much of a height difference, right? No, not a not a huge height. Look at Erica. Erica's super short, too. Yeah. What, what We're all, about? all of us are short, and you guys are all tall. You guys are all around the same height, except for Lee. Roughly. And I think Nick's the tallest. No, Javi. Javi's the tallest. Ha- Javi's the tallest. Um, Javi's girlfriend's not that short. Either. No, but he, he, he is taller, though. Yeah, Javi's like, Javi's like the peach in James and the Giant Peach. He's huge. He is huge. He's like really tall. I used to call him Palm Tree in high school. That's so rude. And then when when, when Pokemon Go came out and uh, they had the um, executor and wanted to get the dragon form, I, did, I just named it Javi. Javi, I apologize on behalf of I know, Rosie. Don't, look, look, I know some of you got Javi cla- is a nice caught guy. Snorlax and named him Rosie. I know you guys did. <laughs> So that's why I feel no regret about what that. <laughs> Javi, I apologize on behalf of Rosie. He's he's rude. He doesn't. He knows not what he does. <laughs> oh my god. Um, should we pause there though, and then uh, yeah, we want to get into a marriage story. So it would be like a little intermission. Yes. Okay. Okay. So continuing Rude. on the conversation of Adam Driver, Adam Driver and a marriage story and how big he seemed to Scarlett Johansson. Um, the other part of that is that when he was acting, Nick was really into his acting. He was like, you can really see his range and Mm -hmm. I can see him in, you know, as other roles besides Kylo Ren. And Nick thought that was really cool. Mm -hmm. For me. (laughs) You you didn't like it? Well, I mean, it's a good, for me, I I, I gotta stress, it was hard to watch. Mm -hmm. Not because it was a bad movie, it's because Mm -hmm. what happened in the movie. And, Mm -hmm. um... Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm trying to get married right now. And mm-hmm. What happens in the movie is super scary. Spoilers for that right now, to be honest. Yeah. So we can do that for our intermission. Yeah. Spoilers again. Spoilers again. Yeah. For a marriage story, so it's on. It's on <coughs> Netflix. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you can go watch it. Um, I watched it in prep of. The, I mean, I wanted to watch it, but I watched it in prep of this because we were going to talk about it. And um, I watched it a few days ago. And contrary to Rosie's discerning eye. I did not enjoy it. I was bored. <laughs> I started 
I got to where she basically like hires the lawyer and they start oh. doing that whole thing. And I, I started so I started reading <laughs> and I looked at Nick and Nick was watching it and he looked so into it. And then all so of a sudden he was, dark, huh? he was. And then I looked at him and I was like, I'm bored. And he was like, thank God. <laughs> oh, so he didn't want to watch it either? <laughs> yeah, Damn. No. And he was because he was watching it with me. Yeah. And um, it's so funny because they were like describing each other in a lot of the ways that oh, the first, yeah, right she the described intro, yeah. Adam was like, I could like pull out some of those things about Nick. And I looked at him, and he was holding my hand, like, on the couch. Um, and we were sitting, like, complete – we have a sectional, and we were sitting on opposite sides of the sectional. Um, and we were kind of just holding hands. We were, I was laying down, he was laying down, and we were just kind of playing in each other's hand, you know. Um, what couples do. Yeah, what couples do. <laughs> and I, like, went like this with my hand and put it like this. And he goes, what? What I do? And I was like – I don't know if I want to hold your hand while we're watching this. And he's, like, <laughs> he's like, why? I'm like, because she hates him now. And you <sighs> eat like him. And, you know, because she said that he, like, she was talking about how he inhales his food and mm-hmm. he has two hands. And I was like, you eat like him. And you do think you don't ever look in the mirror and like how she describes mm. him and Nick's like, shut up. <laughs> well, see, that's the part that made it scary because they made it super relatable. Yeah. They made it super relatable. Yeah. And I'm like, Fuck. Yeah, I mean, um, and this is why I wanted to talk about the marriage story because it kind of opened up a conversation between me and Rosie and me and Nick and Rosie and Adela um, about relationships mm-hmm. and, you know, certain milestones and what happens when you end up hating each other. But the movie itself was kind of, was kind of boring. <laughs> um, I ended up fast forwarding because we, we all saw the fight, right? We all saw the fight on Facebook. They're, they posted that with no spoilers, no holds bars. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's still related. It, somebody took the, uh, the edit of them yelling at yeah. each other, and it was Goofy and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Driver was Goofy, and uh, Scarlett Johansson was Mickey Mouse, and because that shit was, <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like we all, we've all seen that, you know, because that's where I first saw it was on Facebook. Was I saw that scene, right? Mm-hmm. That, that that's what got my attention, right? And that's what got me wanting to watch the movie too. Um, and so I'm like, well, let's just fast forward <laughs> until the fighting scene, and when you know when they're yelling at each other. That's like near the end. So we well we fast forwarded, and then we stopped at the part where they were yelling at each other in court, and mm-hmm. we stopped at each at the part where she's yelling at him, and she's at the party. And she's yelling at him, and we stopped at that part. And then, you know, that weird scene in the car with the guy, and she's like, just do that thing to me. Yeah, that I'm not going to say that out loud because it was gross. Awkward. Go watch the movie. That um, was, she, clearly, she just wanted to be like, oh, we're not, we're going this far, do that, and get out. Yeah, and it was touch, like, touch, touch my no no square with your digits, and that's it. And it was. You were so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking, I got that from Awkward, the show Awkward, where she's like, um, don't touch me there. That there is my no no square. Okay, no. Okay. No. <laughs> it's a good show. <laughs> um, it's on Hulu. And so I we fast forward and we watched certain parts, but we skipped most of it. Mm. And then we got to that scene and we were watching that scene. And mm-hmm. I just couldn't deal. It's the the, it the fighting ugly. thing? Yeah, it was ugly. Mm. Yeah. And I've been in <sighs> I've been so this is kind of why I wanted to bring it because it is scary and I I wanted to see ask you why was it so scary for you? Because it's okay like what they're like okay when mm-hmm. they were deciding okay you know we're gonna split mm-hmm. you know that that that's a mature thing to do it's, you know mm-hmm. what we're going our separate ways let's, let's not get any lawyers involved mm-hmm. you know and clearly and it wasn't like one parent was was better than the mm-hmm. other they were both clearly good parents and part of their child's mm-hmm. life right. So, the, mm-hmm. it, it, yeah. in my opinion, they both were. He was kind of distracted. <laughs> he was a little bit distracted, but she was too... He, They were both extremes of each other. He was too distracted, and she was too... Clingy. Yeah. Yeah, and it was uh, super scary. It was like, you know what, let's go separate ways. Mm-hmm. And then someone dropped a little... Like, someone weaseled in and dropped this idea in her head. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, hey, well, the, let me pass on your info for this lawyer. Mm-hmm. She's great and everything. And mm-hmm. then the lawyer... Was the only goal was just to get everything that she possibly could and just fuck over Adam's character, mm-hmm. which I forgot his name, but Adam's character in the movie. They just take everything you can. Yep. And they, or, we're, we're taking you know, the way you live. Mm-hmm. If you want to come see your son, if you want to be a good father, you're going to mm-hmm. fly over here. You're going to mm-hmm. live over here. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, mm-hmm. damn. Like, and, and the whole strategic move of, 
oh, let's move back to L.A. Oh, let's and then, go see all the lawyers so you can't LA, get a lawyer because exactly. you have to have a lawyer in L.A. There was, some, there was some snake shit in there. Yeah. And it was it, it's such a bad thing because it's mostly by the woman. And, it's, and the, the evilest part for me, the evilest part in that movie, in, in, in my opinion, was when he, uh, he came over to visit and to, to, he came to, to L.A., and um, she had the divorce papers from with mm-hmm. the whole lawyer, and she, she can't serve him, and she made her sister serve him. And mm-hmm. he walked in the house, and like they were, everybody was like super sketchy about it. But she, he came in, she gave him a kiss, you know, because obviously it was, it was like a habit thing for them, you know what I mean? They were just like, mm-hmm. oh hi, give me a kiss, blah blah. And she treated like nothing happened, mm-hmm. and like she was just trying to beat her on the bush so damn much and avoid it. And then when the packet finally came up, it was just like. Yeah, you know, we're getting lawyers. He was kind of like blindsided, and I I do kind of agree with that. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cover my mouth. Um, (laughs) But I do kind of agree with that because he was kind of blindsided in the movie. And, oh, man, that sucks. Like, he, I don't know, because they had this whole agreement, and then she decided to get her... She can go back on the agreement, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. It's it's fine for her to do that. Oh, yeah. Like It's fine to change your mind, yeah. but don't be a snake about it. It might be right. That, that right. Would, she fucked him over, took the kill. We're in the L.A. family. We've been living in New York for 10 years, and I only recently moved to L.A. We're in the L.A. family. Yeah. It's like, yeah. God damn But it. I mean, okay. <coughs> so this is coming from a girl's perspective mm-hmm. and someone who has, who has been divorced. Yes. Um, I get kind of where she's coming about, like where she was saying about like losing herself and losing and, Mm -hmm. and not being her own person anymore and kind of being a slave to his, not necessarily a slave. That's, that sounds a little like harsh, but she has to cater to his whims. And that's, I mean, I kind of, I kind of get that. Like my ex-husband, when he joined the military, Mm -hmm. um, he was kind of like, we were talking about it. Like, I remember this distinctly. We were talking about it. Mm -hmm. We were in bed watching TV. We were, like, laying there, and we were talking about him possibly joining the military and the pros and cons, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. That was – I thought it was just, like, an exploratory conversation. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, I I swear, it was, like, two, three days, maybe four or five tops, tops. And he comes home, and he goes, oh, yeah, I have a MAPS appointment. And that's – the MAPS appointment is where you, like, get your physical, you do the paperwork, and I'm I'm trying to remember back. And – um. You do all that stuff to like join, mm-hmm. and he was on his way, and I really didn't have a say in it. But I mean, I got on board pretty quickly because it was mm-hmm. my husband. But I really didn't have a say in it. And I had to put my school on hold. And then when we got divorced or we split up, and I yeah. came back to Arizona, um, and I tried to finish my degree and everything because now I'm like, well, now I'm twenty. 25 or 24 and divorced and yeah. going to be divorced or separated um and i need to finish my degree none of my credits transferred and it was like i had to like i uprooted my whole life to go on this adventure with him to washington and then mm-hmm. i came back mm-hmm. and we i said see i said we'd talk about it this this episode um <laughs> and i uprooted my whole life to come crawling crawling back crawling to washington, back to arizona <laughs> like or crawling back to arizona like rosie said um but i uprooted my whole life and then when i came back to arizona um <laughs> Like none of my credits transferred, and it was it was it was hard. It was really hard, and I kind of understand why she felt the way she did. But for me, because my me and my ex husband, because we mm-hmm. had such a volatile relationship, mm-hmm. I'm not saying I'm not going to cheapen our marriage and say that it was all bad because it wasn't. There was a lot of good stuff, but there was a lot of bad stuff too, mm-hmm. and it was extremely volatile, especially at the end, especially. Um, you know, at the end for like the first solid year, it was, it was volatile because we didn't Mm -hmm. get divorced until two years after we separated. So we Mm -hmm. didn't get divorced until 2017. And it was very volatile. Like there was periods of time where we were cussing each other out, especially when I first got here, like he threatened to get rid of the dogs. Like he was just, and I, and I'm not saying I'm an angel because I was really bad too, but, um, it was just, it was just volatile. Like we were screaming at each other and cussing each other out and, hanging up on each other and then calling back to fight some more. And then um, we were both posting on social media and he was calling my friends and he tried to call my mom. And it was like, a, and my mom did not really like my ex-husband. Yeah. So my mom was like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I kind of get where she was coming from. And I kind of watching a marriage story was like, oh my God, I went through this, mm. you know? And so I get why it's scary. And you have been See, together for 10 years. Yes. Uh, me, me, Adele, uh, uh, career-wise, mm-hmm. like any, any problem, big problems that we've ever 
really had mm -hmm. like like any relationship that lasts a long time that you're, you're gonna you're gonna run into problems because this mm -hmm. is what everybody says and it's true mm -hmm. you, you've been together so long you're going to have problems and you 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 stick together and you work it out you know what mm -hmm. i mean but because uh, uh, that's always been a big scare for me too was it was uh career career choices mm -hmm. so that's the kind of i'm just like because i you can even ask Adela yourself. Like, I, I constantly hound her about what she wants mm -hmm. because I, you know, I, I, I went to AI. I went, I, you know, I went to school for this, to for you know, for for filmmaking and everything because that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, the only reason why I went to school was because one, like, I would daydream at work about mm -hmm. you know stupid fight scenes or funny scenes, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I really want to make them come to life. Like, mm -hmm. let, let, let's go pursue it. And uh, when I found out Leo was gonna be born, mm -hmm. I was just like, I gotta go to school because like. I, I gotta show Leo that you know you can go and get what you really right. want, right. and and in the end AI was like um, kind of a bad choice. I met a lot of great people, mm -hmm. but AI in the end was kind of a bad choice because it shut down and yada yada. But yeah. um, uh, going back to Adela is I constantly hound her. I'm like, what do you want to do? You want you want to go back to school? You know, do you want to go do this? You want to start your own business? You want uh, mm -hmm. whatever you want that uh, you tell me and let's make it happen because I don't want you to feel like you know you're you know we're together yes but you know. I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to say. My, I don't want to be misogy misogynistic. Is that yeah. the word? Mm -hmm. Where it's just like, oh, I'm the breadwinner. Breadwinner. We're, we're gonna do what I. What the hell I want to mm -hmm. do, and that's it. I right? know you have dreams. You have goals. You tell me what they are, and let's figure it out together. Mm -hmm. Because you know, because in the end, if you're not happy at the end of and mm -hmm. you know our, our lifespan, you know, clearly, in my opinion, as a husband, or I'm not, I'm not married yet, but we're Mexican married. I'm, I'm trying to get married. It's my, he's he's domestic partnership married because if it's been together for that yeah, long. Yeah, they've been together for long. And to be real, honestly, just for a pause on that real quick, I want to get married. I, I, uh, it's just, I want the big party. I want the, <laughs> I want the the wedding and all that stuff and mm -hmm. you know all that stuff. But anyway, back to um, me and Adela, is I want her to be really happy and I don't want her to be like. Oh, you know, we're gonna do you know what you know what Roosevelt mm -hmm. wants, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> like yeah. I, I want you happy. I even yeah. tried incorporating in some of this. Like she's on Twitch, mm -hmm. she she's she's a little shy, but <laughs> when she's you know, um, when she comes out, she comes out of her shell, and it's, it's she's she's great. Yeah, I'm yeah. leaning back because my back hurts. <laughs> oh, you're good. It's just I see what happened in that movie. The whole pursuing the you know your your, your life goal, or what you wanted to do with your yeah. life. That's I, I try to make sure that's not a problem with us. Right. And that's where, and that's where kind of like, I don't know. And that's kind of where I had, maybe where I had some resentment towards, well then I don't think I'm kidding. And that's yeah. maybe where I had some resentment towards him because he just decided that his dream was the military and then he got that's in it and he it. hated it. Um, because the whole time we were dating, he was like mechanics, mechanics, mechanics. Mm -hmm. And that's all he wanted to do. Um, and then when he joined the military, he even went, and that's what he picked was to be an aircraft mechanic. Like mm -hmm. that's that was always his goal. Um, so when my dreams kind of got had to put back on the on the back burner, mm -hmm. I was kind of like, you know Fuck what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And with Nick now, you know, Nick and I have been together for about five, five years now. Yeah, five years. And um, <coughs> about five years now, and Nick is always like supporting me. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I could be getting the group text to go play Xbox, mm -hmm. and Nick is just like, you need to you need to grade. You're going to regret it if you don't grade. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he's always that voice of, you have goals, you have responsibilities, you have this, this is what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's never it's like, good. put yourself on hold mm -hmm. to do what I need to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, and I'll admit that sometimes I, because I think I lack so much of it in my previous relationship that I'm very demanding now mm. and I, and I'm aware of it. So I'm trying to work on it. No, just to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes. Yeah. Well, in reverse, oh, that it doesn't okay. have, that I don't do too Nick I got because you. I'm so exacting now when I wasn't before, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, but it's just, it's all a balance. And with them, they just deteriorated so badly. Like he was straight up i wish you would die like you'd get a, if i could guarantee our kid would be okay i hope you get a sickness and then mm -hmm. you get hit by a car and die i'm like oh my God. well let's say like here he's in he's, he's my opinion about that that scene mm -hmm. like the, everything he said was pure and clearly he you know he didn't really mean it it all that came from a place of frustration and anger he like you said in the movie he uh, he got blindsided in the movie you know what i mean like okay. uh, the, the, uh, everything he was saying 
was, you know, it, it, it felt real for him. But clearly he regretted it the moment it happened. You know what I mean? You guys can see it. I'm like trying to interrupt here. I know, right? I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So I knew somebody who was dating somebody mm-hmm. when he went to boot camp. And mm-hmm. she straight up told him, like, I hope you go to war and die because they were like having problems like he's at boot camp, right? They were like yeah, that's fighting via letter. That's fucking dark. Right. But for me, that's the same thing that Adam told her. I'd hope you, I wish you would get a sickness, get hit by a car and die. Mm-hmm. Like there's just some things you don't say. Like as, as much as me and my ex fought, I mm-hmm. never wish bad on him. Mm-hmm. And even when he deployed, I still, and we had already been separated for like a year at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, but I saw like a mutual friend had posted that he was deploying and I still shot off a text and said, Hey, you know, I know we're not on good terms anymore, but I, I hope that you come home safe. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so for me, when he said that, I was like, take your big nose <laughs> and, and, and go. Well, 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 we see what I mean? Like, like well, okay, when you're in a heated moment, mm-hmm. like it, that, that, that didn't come out of nowhere. I back and everything. <laughs> that, 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 didn't, that came in a, that it, it was a conversation that got slowly, like just kept getting hotter okay. and hotter and hotter, right? Yeah. And it just exploded. And as soon uh-huh. as he said it, he literally broke down, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and he apologized. And, and she, but... she knew he didn't mean it. But, like, oh, I'm, I'm not trying to justify it because it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's not right. It's not a right thing to do. But I, I understand where it mm-hmm. came from. Now, going to, like, say even a text, like, that that's not, for me, arguing in a text is a little weird mm-hmm. because, like, you, you, it's different when you have the person in front of you. Now, could, because you have the option to write what you want to say and then send it. Now, if you're, right, if you're just typing out, I hope you die, and then you hit send. Uh, for me, that's more of a conscious decision to tell somebody that. It's, that's that's not a spur of the moment thing in my mind. I don't know. I don't know because because it's like you're 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 face to face. You know what I mean? That's more, in my opinion, <laughs> that's more of a, a my bad. I am sorry. You know what I mean? But I hate. Oh, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it's it, a lot of times it's necessary, and I'm sure it's the proper way. Um, <laughs> but I hate fighting in person. Um, and the reason why I hate fighting in person is because I'm sure a lot of girls have this problem. I cry when I'm mad. I don't cry because I'm sad. Mm-hmm. I don't cry, maybe a little bit, but I don't <laughs> cry because I'm overcome with emotion. No, mm-hmm. I cry because I don't know why. My eyes just don't cooperate with the rest of my pissed off feeling. Do we need to f- pause? No, no. My eyes just don't cooperate with the rest of my pissed offedness. And my eyes betray me, and no, I don't know that, what it is. So I cry. Thing, I mean, I, I've known myself included. I, when you're, you're overwhelmed with just fucking anger, yeah, it, it, I, just, it, it leaks it, out it, my it, eyes. Yeah, it leaks out. Yeah, in hate fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I hate, and for that reason, I hate arguing in person or on the phone because I cry, and it's just so frustrating. Mm-hmm. But in text, I can be pissed off in text all I want, and I can get all my points out, and I can be articulate, mm-hmm. and I can lay down you know gems like i ain't here for a chief yeah. and <laughs> without crying you know that's much more powerful when you're not cr- <laughs> <I ain't> here <laughs> for a chief like <laughs> you know what i mean yeah so, like, I, I feel you on that because i, I think for, for me that I've, I've asked a couple of people i've even asked adela mm-hmm. and sometimes it's a good thing sometimes it's a, it's a bad thing if, if we got beef like if, me personally if i got beef with you um I, i'm just like all right cool like and, and i care about you I am going to go up to you and be like, yo, let's fix this. Mm-hmm. Either we're going to sit here and we're going to yell at each other all, all night and not get anywhere, or, or, or we're going to solve it right here. Like, mm-hmm. that's, that's, just, that's just the way I handle it with, with every from friends to he, and he, family. And this is true because he's handled a couple of fights where he's had to. Um, what are you talking about? I'll, t- well, I'll remind you later, but he, okay. has, <laughs> he has where he had to sit there and mediate. Between me oh, and, yeah, and yeah, another yeah. person. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. And um, and Rosie's Rosie's a good mediator for the most part. <laughs> and, um, I don't remember this exact conversation. I just remember that happened. So he, I do, I have been privy to this where he does do it. Oh. But I don't know. I just and this got me thinking about like milestones. Like, what? How long were they married? Like nine years. Uh, well, long enough to have a kid, but I don't yeah, that he was about um, nine. Because didn't he say like, oh, you got to stop rewarding insane. him for his poops? He's nine. Yeah. Um. So, got, it's what actually got us started on this is that we booked a cruise with our friends, me and Nick, mm-hmm. and um, we have this friend who's a newer couple, and we realized late after we talked to them about it, um, when we talked to them about them possibly going on the cruise with us, um, and they've only been dating for a few months, 
um, we realized, me and Nick realized a little late that maybe we shouldn't ask them because they were together at the time. Maybe we should have asked him separately mm-hmm. instead of while he was with her. Because now you have to give an answer in front of the Yeah, woman, and yeah. what if he didn't feel comfortable because it's a lot of... <coughs> It's a, it's a lot of trip. yeah, and it's a lot of pressure to plan a cruise for June mm. um, and pay all this money, and it's just a lot. Mm. And like, what happens if it goes south? You know, relationships. What what would you say? Like the first year, they're they're tender. I well, I mean, that's a that's a different like it's a different kind of trip. Like, oh hey, let's mm-hmm. let's take a trip to Flagstaff. You know what I mean? Let's let's go up there this for like is a an week international and then cruise. let's go to another <laughs> state and then let's go float on the ocean. For a couple of days, then we're gonna drop like maybe like two, three grand over yeah. here. You know what I mean? That's different. That's like a big commitment. Yeah, that because I feel like that's for people who've been together for a five long years. Time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, ten years. Yeah. So for for a long time, mm-hmm. rather, I feel like rich people who go on flings do that. You know what I mean? Oh, let's go drop like in two, three grand on this trip, and then you know whatever. It's just it's what I do. But I feel like for for for. People in the lower middle class, as I, as I think that's what I am. And, <laughs> unless I'm just poor, but I don't know. Either way, I feel like that's like something you save up when, you know, for sure this is someone really special. Yeah. Hey, you don't have to be married, but you know what I mean? It's like, yep. you know, you, you've been together for a while. I'm just hey, let's, go, let's take this really nice trip. Yeah. I mean, me and Nick went last year for 18 days. We went to Europe um, and it was a blast. We like, yeah. that's the trip of a lifetime. Um, and then we're going on a cruise again this year, or not again, because I've never been on a cruise before, but we're going out of this, out of the country again this year, um, and we are going to the Bahamas and the Dominican Republic, and it's going to be a blast, but I'm really, like that first year, we probably went to California, <laughs> and the second <laughs> year, we probably went to California, we went to California, um, and we didn't do like really in-depth things, because we were just kind of filling each other out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Getting used it, it, to the bumps and gurgles of living together. After oh, the first year, one, yeah. we moved in together. So it was just kind of the bumps and gurgles. And then, you know, truly, 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 Europe was like the tester. Um, because when I realized that I could be around him for 18 days, 24-7, <laughs> and not get sick of him, mm-hmm. I was pretty happy. Because... Look at our lives now. Look at your life with Adela. Mm -hmm. You probably don't see her every day. Like, you do, but you don't. Like, there's days where you go to work, and then you come home, and she's at work already. Well, there's there's some days where, because I I work 16 hours uh, a day whenever Mm -hmm. I work. I work four days. Um, uh, When she leaves before work, she Mm -hmm. works at four in the morning. Mm -hmm. I don't get off until about six. Mm -hmm. So I get home, and then sometimes she she gets off at 12, but she she doesn't come right away because she has to go pick up the kids and to run errands and maybe she <laughs> hangs out with her mom. So on the days that I work, uh, there's some days where I don't see the kids and Adela for half, the, more than half the week. Mm-hmm. So then on my days off, obviously I see them and everything like that. But the, to, to be with somebody 18 days straight, 24 yeah. seven, that, that, that's kind of a big test. It's, it's a big test. Yeah. And like with me and Nick right now, the way our schedule works is he's off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And I'm off Saturday, Sunday, because I'm, I'm a teacher. Again, I know I'm going to say that probably like every episode, but I'm a teacher. <laughs> so I work Monday through Friday. Um, and he's actually, I have a three-day weekend this weekend because of MLK Day. Um, and then he's actually working tomorrow, so we'll have Monday off together. Um, but I don't see him during the week. Like, I do. I, I do. But I see him for like an hour because Nick comes home. I, we eat dinner together. We probably watch a show um, like I'll watch one of his animes or he'll watch like a show like I'm watching right now, The Mentalist, and we'll watch a show together and then he'll pass out and then that's it. So I probably see him awake and conscious mm-hmm. for like an hour a day. That's it. Um, and so when we went to Europe, you know, we woke up at six, seven cause we were jet lagged. We woke up at six, seven, we'd go eat breakfast then we'd go explore. We'd get lunch. We'd go to dinner. We'd come home. We'd go to sleep. Two minutes, two minutes. Okay, and then um, we'd and then we would go to sleep, and I'd do it all over again. Like if I wasn't sleeping, I was around him. Like I, he'd be in the bathroom pooping, and I'd be talking to him, and <laughs> exactly. or vice versa. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So there was really no space from each other at all, and I we only got annoyed with each other once, mm-hmm. once. And he goes, I seriously thought you were going to leave me in London. <laughs> and, um, what happened in London? But it was, well, no, we were just tired and we were, we were really tired and we had been walking around all day and um, I just got annoyed with him because I get annoyed. Rosie can attest. I get annoyed really quickly <laughs> and I got annoyed with him and Jen, Jen, Jen. prestige. Shut up. <laughs> 
We'll, I'm sorry. we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll get into that next episode. Um, but I get a, I get it really easy, and, and me and him, I was just tired. He was tired, and so we were just bickering. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, I seriously considered, like I was, so we were standing on the subway, and I seriously considered, what would he do if I got on, he got on, and then I just hopped off real quick. Like, what would he do? Straight ditch him, damn. And he would, <laughs> and he, it's so funny because we get on and we get back to the hotel and we take a nap and then we wake up and he's like, are you in a better mood? And I was like, yes, but I'm hungry. And he's like, okay. <laughs> a lot so, of the times that fixes the problem. So we went and got food and then he was like, can I say something without you getting mad? And I was like, what? And he's like, I thought you were going to leave me on the subway platform See, in London. He, he saw you thinking about it. He saw you thinking. <laughs> he saw it. But that was like, but that was just a long day. Keep in mind, this is like, Day three or four of us constantly walking around. Mm-hmm. And then I was wearing Vans, so my feet were killing me. Yeah. And he made he just said something like that I thought was stupid, and then it just pissed me off. And that's how <laughs> the whole fight started. Like, Damn. fights. It was like a bicker. But other than that, we were around each other. Even that was the only day that we got in an argument. Mm-hmm. The rest of it was fine. Even when we were in London, and it was like 90 degrees, 100 degrees with... Um, like 60% humidity. Ooh. Yeah. And it was still fine. Never be dry. Mm-mm. It mm-hmm. was still fine. Like, I stopped wearing makeup. Mm-hmm. Ask Nick. I stopped. And, like, you know. You know. Like, I'm wearing makeup now. You know when I go out, I wear makeup. Mm-hmm. And I stopped wearing makeup <laughs> through the entire trip in Europe. It was just taking up space in my suitcase because it was too hot. It was right. literally melting off my face. So. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up for now. Yep. Uh, this has been... Group chat and chill for mm-hmm. episode two. Yeah. Um, if you want to keep up with the podcast, join the group chat and follow our YouTube channel, Group Chat and Chill, or you can else? follow the Fisher Media stuff. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, <laughs> we're, we're uh, when this comes out, this is going to be on the new YouTube channel. The link's going to be in below, but mm-hmm. you can check us out on the F- uh, Fisher Media page on Facebook. Check us out, uh, Fisher Gaming. Check us out. Is it going to be called Group, group Chat and Chill? The new one. Yeah. Group Chat and Chill, where that's going to be a new YouTube channel. Check us out on Twitch. Check us out on yep. Spotify. What else? We're just everywhere. We will link you all of our stuff because we're everywhere. Be everywhere. It's everywhere We now. have all social media. We Our podcast, if you want to stay connected, is on iTunes. It's on Spotify. It's on SoundCloud. And I'm working on getting it on iHeartRadio. So it will be <laughs> everywhere that you listen to your streaming. Group Chat and Chill. Check it out. Bye. Better.